Yo, what's up, YouTube? Tiggs here. Bringing you guys a new settings video. As you guys have been asking, Tiggs, what are your new settings? Don't worry, boys. I got you. I'll make a YouTube video. So here's the video. All right. First of all, as you can see, the game looks a lot different, right? It looks like a cartoon. It's very good. Uh, as you can see, the lighting's really nice inside stores. You can, you can see the loot way easier than usual. What are the advantages to this? So... I'll, I'll give you the example of what I think they're good for. As soon as I turn these on, I gain 10 FPS on interchange. I'm not even kidding. I got way more performance than usual. This obviously depends on what type of specs you're running on your PC. If you've got a better graphics card, then it might not give you the advantage, but I would definitely recommend trying to see if it helps. It definitely helped me and my PC. Also, what are the other advantages to this? In my opinion, I think these settings are kind of overpowered in certain situations. Obviously in online raids, uh, fences don't render in properly. So this fence is like this. I'll go up and show you real quick. These fences right in front of me, which are everywhere by the way, and like all maps, uh, they don't render properly. So you'll see like the edges of these, but none of this hex grid stuff will be rendered in. So you can shoot through them like no problem at all. I'm, I'm guessing it's something to do with like the MIP streaming. It's part of the feature to uh, help with the graphics cards load or whatever. I'm not entirely sure how it works with all the technicals. I'm not, you know, I'm not an expert at that. But all I do know is these settings are worth using. Um, another example, player scavs and loot. Player scavs and uh, PMCs and any, any sort of character model killer, they all stand out way more than usual. It, it's so much easier to see people, man. Uh, it's, it's actually kind of overpowered in my opinion. And obviously loot stands out way more. As you can see running through here, look at the lighting. The lighting is absolutely insane. And I know you're going to ask, well, are you running post effects? I am running post effects as well. Post effects right here. Okay, here you go. So what I'm running is chill wave. Uh, I know it looks a bit a little bit crazy, but trust me, this is what I run. And it works well with these settings. Uh, outside does look a little bit over the top, but I like to disable them until I get inside the store. And then turn them on. Uh, okay, that's the important part, the graphic settings. Uh, texture quality low, shadow quality low, LOD 2, visibility 1000, shadow visibility 40, this is important, uh, this makes shadows way less inside rooms so you can see easier, TAA, uh, one time sampling, HBAO off, SSR off, anastropic filtering off, NVIDIA reflex low latency on and boost, make sure you put this on, it will help your game, okay, sharpness at zero, and another important part is MIP streaming. MIP streaming and texture quality low is what makes the game look like this. Potato mode. Also, another thing. Game. 62 FOV is what I run. People ask me all the time, so I'm going to quickly break it up real quick for you. Uh, I don't run max FOV because I think max FOV is more of a disadvantage than an advantage. Yes, you do get more peripheral vision, which is great. But uh, you sacrifice uh, the, the smaller hitboxes, right? Like Not the hitboxes, but the character models are smaller. And long hallways are even harder to see down and spot people. So I recommend a lower FOV and the lower you go, make sure you use free look and you can compensate the, you can compensate the, uh, the peripheral vision with the free look, man. Um, and also another benefit to lower FOV is scopes are more zoomed in. I'll give you an example now. As you can see, this is what it is without the, uh, the, the low FOV. And here's even lower FOV. Boom. Big difference on scopes, which I think is huge. Um, but in my opinion, I recommend 60 or anywhere around that. I'm running 62. That's my preference. Uh, those are the settings, boys. Um, I highly suggest you run this. For some reason, in offline mode, the, the graphics aren't like what they are in online. But trust me, once you try them and try an online raid, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's crazy the difference these settings give. And in my opinion, I think these settings are overpowered uh, compared to normal settings. And anyone can run them. So I definitely think it's worth using them and giving them a shot. Anyway, boys, that's the settings video. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I will give an example of other maps of what they look like. Probably a factory and maybe a labs at the end of the video. But yeah, have a good one, boys. Enjoy. Mm.